up early, not as early as I would have liked to be up, but early. My alarm is going off at five, I think like 5.15 or 5.30. And I'm basically just trying to wake up when it goes off. And I keep pushing it and pushing it. And the next thing you know, it's like six o'clock, so. And today I got up at 6.17, I remember, because I shook my head like, what are you doing? Um, because I like to get up before Emery and she's been starting to wake up a lot earlier. So she's been waking up at six something. I think I actually hear her feet now. Let me hurry up with this. Anyway, planners, 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 planners. That is literally the agenda for today outside of also being a mom. Um, we got her virtual school we're gonna be doing in like a couple of hours making breakfast, you know, like just the necessities to get through the day. But other than that, the free moments are gonna be planners because I did finally get the pages from the printing company. Thank you, Lord. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to just get them out. I'm gonna try to get like the first, maybe third of the orders out um, and finished into the post, or not into the post office, um, to UPS tomorrow. <coughs> and then, I'm gonna have another batch that'll probably be ready at the beginning of next week, and then I'm gonna have another batch, probably the final batch that'll be ready at the end of that week. Um, and most of those from the end of the week will be like the Cyber Monday orders, all of that stuff, Black Friday orders, and anyone that just had like a lot of stuff plus a planner. So we'll see. Good morning. Good morning. You not gonna say good morning? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Would you like some oranges? All right, I got an orange right here for you. I'm gonna peel it in a second, but before we do, where? Where a star? Where a star? Let's go look for her. Ah, uh, <laughs> you found her? So yes, as you guys see, our little elf friend star is here with us this season. It's the first time she's been here with us. And it's been fun so far. I've actually enjoyed it. It's been cute every morning um, for Emery to find where she is. But, but yeah, I was actually talking about this on Instagram, y'all. If you do not have an insulated mug for yourself, please go get one. I don't drink coffee at all, but I use it for, um, I do like a warm lemon water mostly at, just about every morning. Or if I don't do the lemon water, I'll do tea. Kind of just depends on how I'm feeling. But y'all it's so just the stuff gets cool so quickly you know especially with just like running around doing a whole bunch of different things and this is definitely a hack i would say that is just great for busy mom life you know just in general um it's not even really a hack and i'm kind of late honestly you probably already have one and i'm probably the last one that doesn't have one but i got this one from target a few weeks actually probably a couple months ago now and it is just I love it so much. It does come with a top too, but mostly like when I'm just at home, I'll just leave it in here because I don't need it to stay hot for that that long. But like if I'm out or something like that, put the little top on there, good to go. And then they had different colors and stuff. I just wanted to share that with you guys because sometimes we forget or you might have seen it and you maybe just didn't think to really get it for yourself. And I didn't think I would really use it, but I use it most mornings unless I know I'm getting ready to like drink it right away um, after it cools off a little bit. But if I know there's a chance I might sit it down and come back to it, which is this morning, then I'm all about doing this. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this day. Just wanted to say hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. And let's get some of these planners out. I am a woman, not here to please you. It's time to move on cause my time is now. I am a woman. As you saw, I'm punching planners. It's still the same day, but I did take my sweatshirt off cause I was getting kind of hot. Um, cause we have the heat on and then I'm kind of doing some just different things running around. I just laid Emery down not too long ago for her nap, but you, I have her monitor in here so you might hear her in the background she sings and screams and yells out it's all part of her little alone time that she has until she winds down and falls asleep so um but anyway i wanted to continue answering the questions i thought that that would be good because i think i saw 
Somebody had asked a question about the cinch and I'm currently actually using that right now. I'm switching between the two. Anytime I'm doing stuff like this, I always feel like I have to keep it interesting because I can't keep doing the same thing over and over again. So I have like some more stickers cutting the tab stickers because everyone gets um, tab stickers with their planners this year. So I'm trying to do that occasionally in between. I'll switch and then I'm switching up between a cinch and this Levenger punch because you guys know I am doing disc bound as well. And there's about an equal amount of both planners. So I'm just switching it up so then that way I can keep it going. But this is what I have so far. <laughs> Not very much. I have a long way to go. I have three boxes in my trunk full of stacks of paper that need to be punched, including what's in here. So I'm just slowly trying to get through it. Well, slowly, quick, quickly, but slowly because I don't want to mess anything up. So I'm taking my time. But um, let me just do this last one and then I will pull up that question and maybe answer like one or two questions. Um, okay, so let's see. I think I'm going to actually pick two of these to answer. Okay, so this one is from Margaret Hall. Hey, girl. And she said, um, I want to get my first wire, not coil binding machine to make notebooks, journals, planners. I really want something that is larger than the cinch because the cinch costs to reduce the chance of error. Any suggestions? What made you choose the cinch and have you used or are you thinking of moving on to a different machine? So that's a great question. Um, and the main thing about the cinch is it wasn't really like I chose the cinch to work with. Oh no, my battery's about to die. <laughs> Let me get another battery. Okay. I definitely had to charge that way longer than I planned on and I thought that because I have three batteries, I thought at least one of them would be good. And no, and this one is not even all the way fully charged. So I'm gonna try to answer this really quickly. Um, okay, so that's a really good question. Basically what I will say for that is, I actually got the cinch long before I had any plans of doing a planner. Um, I had originally purchased it just because I thought it was kind of cool and I had a stationary business. And so I thought eventually I could use it for something. And so initially the first time I ever used the cinch, I had it for a while, probably like six months to a year, um, if not longer before I actually even needed it for anything. Um, and then I ended up using it for my live, love, inspire notebook. So when that first came out, it did not look like how it looks now. It was, um, handmade completely by me and I had used this machine to do that the cinch which is what I'm using right now and this is the cinch if you're curious what I'm talking about this is the cinch um, it's from we are memory keepers and this is the Heidi swap one but they have like ones that aren't this black and white one and they have different kinds so, like if you're trying to do spiral versus if you're trying to do wire O and they're just all different ones. So um, anyway, I just already had it and I'm a big believer in if I already have something and I have the skill set to do it, then I'm going to just use what I have. And so that was really the reason why I decided to use this for these planners, because I already had it. I was comfortable with using it at that point because I had been using it for my um, Live Love Inspired notebooks. And I just felt like it was already going to be expensive to produce the planners with everything that I needed to get. So the last thing I wanted to do was also add a binding machine on top of that when I already had something. Now, yes, there are definitely way better ones out there. There's electronic ones, which is great. That's probably the best because then you don't have to sit here and do this manually. Um, and I've definitely priced out some different ones. The one thing I will say to her point about the error issue, once you kind of get your settings in place the first time, there really isn't any error unless like, let's say you're just not paying attention, which has happened to me before. Um, but honestly, like I do this and it's the same every time. So there's not really a whole lot of opportunity for there to really be error per se. Um, oh wait, hold on. What am I doing right now? Oh wait, never mind. Okay, I got really confused for a second. Um, but there's not really a lot of opportunity for error, again, unless I'm just not paying attention. So if you feel like this machine is more affordable or if you want to start with this, I think it's great to get started with. Do I feel like it's perfect for when you're trying to scale and have like a ton of planners? No, because you do have to typically do it in two sets. So like I always go through and I punch the first set. So kind of how you're seeing here. Um, it, per it punches up to this point because it's longer than what this allows for. Um, I go through, I might do like five stacks of these and just do that first set. Then I'll go back and now I'm doing the second set, which will make it become this complete thing that's punched. 
So, I mean, that is really what would make it take a little bit longer. Whereas the one and done, like even with this Levenger punch that I'm using for the disc bound, I'm doing it one time and then I'm moving on. So it's, go, it's a lot quicker to get through a stack um, of the pages. And with that, I would just suggest, you know, find what's best for you, you know, find what's best for your budget, what's best for your project to make sure that, you know, it fits the needs of what you're looking for. But no, there wasn't a particular reason why I chose this. It just it was what I already had. I was comfortable with it. And even still to this day, I mean, I still like it. It, it gets the job done. It's nothing wrong with it. And so I just, I love it. And I've seen comments before on past videos about like, why do you still use it and stuff? And I'm like, well, because it's not broke. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I haven't had any problems with it. I don't mind sitting here doing it. It's actually kind of therapeutic. I usually will just turn on some music or I'll watch a video and just kind of zone out and punch the pages. So it's definitely not on my priority list to get anything else, but I do feel sometime next year, I probably will add another one to the mix that will probably not be another cinch, but just another like full binding machine um, that would allow for me to do that. So check out like mybinding.com. They have a ton of them on there. That's probably where I'll be looking for mine as well. Um, but I believe there's some on Amazon too. So um, okay, so hopefully that'll answer that. I'll definitely answer another question in a little bit. I'm gonna get back to just continuing to punch these to get through the stack I have here on this table. And then I'm gonna move on to assembling some and then I'll probably get back on here and answer another question. I got my duvet on solid ground. next day I'm up pretty early yes my hair is wrapped <laughs> this is real life um, <clears throat> I've been up for about the last hour just working on stuff I just finished putting um, and what I do usually is I work in batches with these planners because if I try to do them all at one time I would feel like I was never finishing so instead I kind of create like little mini finish lines throughout the total amount because it just makes it a lot easier I do that anytime I have a lot of orders I always just have like increments where if like let's just say for example if there's 50 orders then I might just do the first 15 or something like that to give myself like a small goal it makes it not feel as overwhelming and then I always have like a date that I want to have those out by and then I'm going to feel accomplished tonight when I lay down and I know that this batch of orders is out so anyway I just got done putting all of the corners like these little silver corners on the hardcover planners so now I just need to punch them and actually bind them um, I binded a lot of the pages yesterday so that's kind of what you see here I still have more boxes in the car to punch but this is a decent amount that's punched right here we also got a new mattress topper because our mattress has been so uncomfortable y'all so uncomfortable um, I got this new mattress topper during um, Cyber Monday from Kohl's and I feel like just my body feels a lot better this morning waking up so we'll see I don't know I've been having like consistent back pain though and also I'm just working on people's orders so like one of the people that ordered got a Empire sticker book so I just finished her sticker book um, I'm working on the cover page now looks like the machine didn't cut all the way through so I'm gonna have it run it one more time for me and then yeah so that's what I'm working on right now but I just wanted to check in wrap rag and all <laughs> and just say hey but um yeah the goal today is really just that whole stack over there um potentially a few more stacks I might grab Are you ready to find Star? No, snowman. Yeah, it's raining out there, so the snowman is kind of blowing around a little bit. Let's go find Star, come on. I wonder where she is. Where? <gasps> what is she doing up there? I'm kind of hanging out there. Wow, she got all the way up there.
packaged up the first one, so it's in here. And I'm actually gonna shout her out because Anita has been rocking with the station of Muse for a while. So hers was the first order that I packaged up. Also, the first 10 people that ordered planners on the pre-order day, they also were getting um, a staple. Also, the people that purchased on the pre-order day are getting a sticky note set and I have a bun girl sticky note set so it's kind of random there's two different colors but I'm going to toss that in there as well because she was within the first 10 but I'm just shouting you out Anita because I'm working on your order right now and I'm so grateful for you um, I'm so grateful for everybody that continues to support whether it's watching these videos if it is purchasing from my shop if it's working with me you know trusting me to help you with your business whatever it is i just thank you guys so much for all of the support um i really appreciate it because i know that it's not it's never something i want to take for granted because it took a really long time for me to even get to this point and i know i still have so much farther to go but i'm just really grateful and i was thinking about that i just started listening to that black girl or what is it called brown girl self-care podcast i had never listened to it before an episode i'm listening to i had it on the screen for you guys but it was the one about the questions to ask yourself when you're feeling worried feeling overwhelmed um with worry and it, it's really good um but anyway so that's what i'm just working on and it looks really good everything came together i have these cute little stickers that i'm adding just for packaging so that's one thing like if you are needing packaging but maybe you've already spent a lot on just the product itself but you're packaging the orders and you want to make it cute you can do it very affordably i always tell my clients this like literally if you get yourself some tissue paper and you make some stickers really quick like if you have a cricket or a silhouette make yourself a little sticker sheet where you can just kind of peel it off with your logo on it mine's in some different colors this time around but i have a ton of these um like a ton of them and you just peel it off and just put it on stuff and make it cute so i'll definitely show more up close of it as i'm packaging these orders up but it just makes it nice and it gives it a personalized feel as they're opening it and i'm always big on just wanting things to feel nice so now so now basically i'm just going to put it in this box here with a little clear lid on it just going to place it right up in that bad boy like this I love it I love it and then it also comes with this which I basically put all the extras in there so everybody is getting a everybody's getting this clear pocket so that you can put it on your planner if you want to it's optional and then also all of the dismount people within this will have their the pack of their discs and actually, let me go through. My husband did this, but I'm just going to count and make sure everybody's as good because I don't want somebody to get in there like, wait, I'm missing a disc. So there should be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. We good. I know he know how to count, but, you know, it's just for peace of mind. Um, but anyway, so that's pretty much it. It also comes with their little samplers in here. Um, the packing slip. But anyway, I'm about to knock these things out so that I can get these to the post office before our post office closes today. And yes, I just feel like I'm in the groove and I'm just ready to get it done. So it's been some hours. Um, I've been working on the planners, but I only have a, the handful that I just showed that's actually ready to go to the post office. So I'm getting ready to go drop that off or not even post office, I keep saying post office cause I'm so used to that UPS. Um, ordinarily I would do a pickup, but I've never really done UPS before. I usually always have done USPS. So I need to just see if they do home pickups. I'm sure they do. I just haven't had a chance to look yet. And UPS is not that far. I actually have a box there too. So um, it actually works out to just go check it out. But I wanted to just answer one more question really quick while I am cutting this tape. So the tape that I use is actually from Sticker Mule and it's funny, I actually got it for the first time last year um, when I was doing the planners and I just remember being so surprised when I opened it up and I saw that it wasn't sticky. So that's just a 
tip for you just if you didn't know when you order this kind of tape um i cannot remember the name of what they call it but it's basically just it's paper tape and it's not sticky so when i initially bought it i thought it was you know i missed tape right so it has to be water activated um there are some different machines where you can actually have the water in there and it'll kind of do it you could use a sponge they actually provide you with a sponge but my mom really gave me the best tip which is the one that i do and it's basically just taking a spray bottle and i just do that i have one of those like hair mister spray bottles that i use and so i just use that and it really helps a lot um and it doesn't really take that long to do so i'm just getting ready to cut some strips really quick it's gonna take me like two seconds but i thought i would answer a question while i did that really fast um okay i'll answer this one because this one's pretty easy so um virtuous accountant hey girl said what was your occupation slash profession before being an entrepreneur so that's a great question um i've done a lot of things and that's the one thing that's kind of I wouldn't necessarily say frustrating but it feels frustrating is that i don't really feel like i ever had a career per se um just because every job i did was so different but if i had to kind of pick a theme of what kind of was the most consistent it would probably be administrative so um i was an executive assistant i was an office manager um i was an administrative assistant so I would say that would probably be the most recurring thing for me, even though I really don't like being an assistant um, of anybody. I found myself in it a lot. And I think it's because, I mean, I'm good at it. I'm organized and I can definitely juggle a lot of different things at once. And I can be pretty like laid back for the most part in just like if things are getting kind of hectic and stuff. So I think that's kind of why I fit those roles really well to do that but outside of that other things i've done has been um i had a couple of retail jobs so i've worked at best buy i worked at bath and body works um that was really my only two retail jobs but i was at both i was at bath and body works for years um like years i mean from probably like 2000 maybe 2010 until like 2015 maybe like I, yeah i worked with them for a while um and then i was a collections agent like where i worked for a collection agency um y'all i've done so much random stuff but i think definitely the administrative so again i don't really feel like any of it's like a set career per se um because right after i graduated from college I immediately started kind of getting into basically toying around with entrepreneurship. And so that was always really my thing. I always knew that I wanted to have my own thing on the side once I kind of got out of school and all of that. So it's just interesting to kind of see how things have progressed. But yeah, so that's just a little bit of that. That was a pretty simple one. And then let me see, I have a couple more minutes because I have a little tele appointment coming up. Um, okay, so someone asked this question. This is a good one I can answer really quick. So I'm a bit confused when it comes to the idea. Oh, this is Mondays with Sharon, by the way. Um, hello, I am a bit confused when it comes to the idea of purchasing materials to create your stationery. Does purchasing from X brand infringe on their copyrights? An example, if I purchase a stamp from X brand and use it to sell products in my business, isn't that copyright infringement? Since the stamp is not my own design or creation, the same goes for the type of paper I would buy, the software I would use, or even if I decide to purchase pens from a company and put my name on it and sell it for my company. Hopefully that makes sense. The biggest thing I would say anytime you get into copyright, first of all, I'm definitely not a lawyer, so always seek legal counsel for this. But what I've learned is you always just want to make sure that you are allowed to use it. So with most things, especially like for the example of if you were to order a pen and put your um, business name on there, nine times out of 10, if you're, especially if you're getting it from that place, they're fine with you reselling that to then your customers. Um, kind of the same thing with illustrations. If you decide to maybe purchase an illustration for anything that you're doing in your stationary business, um, you get it off Creative Market or Etsy or something like that. Most of those shops, they have a commercial license. So the commercial license is what pretty basically gives you the permission to say, hey, we know you're going to use this to put on products to resell it. And most of the time, as long as you're not selling something as it was, so in a sense of like if you purchased an image, but then you put it on a notebook, 
that's fine to sell it because you have the commercial license to do it but you can't purchase the image and then sell it as if you made the image yourself like if you're selling the png file yourself um and then in terms of like stamps and things like that that i kind of feel like those things are out there for you to use you know as you kind of see fit i don't necessarily think that would be considered copyright infringement unless maybe you were like purchasing the stamps and then reselling them yourselves someone definitely in the comments if you know a little bit more about that please because i'm not super well versed in that um for me i've always just kind of i if i purchase things especially like on alibaba if i purchase like a bulk amount of pins um, whether it has my stationary muse name on there or not I know that I'm allowed to resell that because that's kind of the nature of the game when you're purchasing things in bulk and um, different things like that so I would say the biggest thing is just to read the fine print kind of look into it ask questions if you can just to see um, what's allowed but overall I think you might be thinking a little bit more into it in terms of everything and even with software kind of the same thing you can 100 percent use um, different softwares to create different products um, that's what they're there for so i hope that answers that question a little bit for you